you're not ready for the day, it cannot always be nice. Hello everybody, welcome to the Hindu Editorial Analysis brought to you by Unacademy and I'm Vashnavi, the presenter and your English educator. Today is the 21st of March and we are doing the Hindu Editorial Analysis of the 21st of March. Hi Navasha. Hello Gurnoor. Sh. 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 Good afternoon, good afternoon, Navasha, good afternoon. So how is everyone doing today? Is it Thursday? It's Thursday today, right? Hmm. Good, good. Navasha, I'm fantastic. Doing quite well. Hi, Somesh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Somesh. Gilad. All right. So, let's start with today's words. It's not very special for today's words. So, basically, today's Hindu tutorial is not very great. The topic is also not very great. Uh, not something that is of uh, vital importance or serious importance uh, or that has gained a lot of um, buzz these days. Uh, nothing of that sort. Both simple sa hai. Okay. Kuch bhi nahi hai I know, Somesh, I was feeling so sleepy because of rain. Even after I took bath, I was like, oh, God, I want to go to sleep. The weather is like that today here as well. It's, it's a weather that you want to go in bed, tuck yourself in and just sleep. <laughs> So I'm sacrificing my sleep for you, <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah, you have that uh, opportunity of you know just lying in bed <laughs> and listening to the class. You don't have to be present in the class already with a, a PPT and read the, the tutorial <laughs> and then come to the class. You have no compulsion whatsoever. You can just nicely lie down and just chill out and listen to the listen to the sound of my voice and go to sleep if <laughs> if it makes you sleep uh, or drowsy so that you can do i cannot <laughs> so let's get started before we get started this is my telegram channel if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe to my channel because all the happenings of my session you get to know on my channel it is called unacademy underscore vashnavi underscore clat so you can simply type Vashnavi Pandey 31 in running without space and you will be able to find my channel. Or you can scan this QR code, it will take you straight to my channel. Ooh. <laughs> Hi Kev, good afternoon. My God, so much. <laughs> okay so these are the words that we have today look at it look at it so the first word that we have is ferocious okay now it is about canines dog basically dogs uh canines or dogs okay the entire editorial is about canines or dogs so the first word is ferocious ferocious ka matlab kya hota? it is an adjective which means savagely fierce cruel or violent okay so something that is very fierce and cruel and violent okay is ferocious okay so ferocious uh lion ferocious tiger generally we use it for wild animals because uh, they are savagely fierce cruel or violent okay Druti Prabha hi good afternoon good afternoon Chinmay good afternoon hello Samir hi good afternoon good afternoon 
So start making sentences, everybody. Uh, now that you're here, you don't have to just sit idle. If you want, you can make sentences. I would insist on making sentences though. Okay, so the first word is ferocious. Aaj Rabneet nahi aaya abhi tak. Okay, ferocious is the word. Then we have uh, unbridled. Okay, this is also a new word. Unbridled is a new word. Unbridled ka matlab kya hota hai? It is an adjective. That means uncontrolled, unconstrained. Okay, uncontrolled or unconstrained. Okay, uncontrolled or unconstrained. Okay, so unbridled matlab koi cheez unko rok nahi raha hai. There is no constraint on them, uh, on someone or something. Okay, it is just... Unleashing its power without any constraint. So it is uh, unleashing its powers unbridled. Okay. Unbridled unleashing powers. Okay. And then we have vexing. Vexing is a word that vex. Aapne dekha hoga. Uh, something that vexes you. Vex is the verb form. Okay. Verb form hoga vex. Okay. Vexing ing jo ho raha hai. Wo adjective form hai, okay? It can be adjective. Uh, it is generally adjective, okay? So, causing annoyance, okay? Something that bohat chur chur up and jo lata hai, frustration jo lata hai, worry jo lata hai, okay? So, it can be either when you are saying something is vexing you, it can mean that something is annoying you, something is frustrating you, or something is worrying you, okay? All these three are absolutely fine. So, Mish, uh, this, I just remembered you called me Dora the Explorer yesterday. So, Dora the Explorer is here. <laughs> Hi, Kinjil. Sorry, what am I saying? Hi, Kinkini. <laughs> Hi, Kinkini. Kinjil is one of the uh, one of uh, the English educators that I'm, I know of. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hi, Kinkini. Hello, good afternoon, sweetheart. Good afternoon. I am fantastic. How are you? Uh, vexing ka matlab kya hota? Something that annoys you, frustrates you, or worries you. Okay, or matlab either or or a situation. Hai. Reiterated matlab hota hai, uh, wapas se usko emphasize karna, kisi cheez ko wapas se dohrana, ya kisi cheez ko wapas se emphasize karna, okay, so that it is clear, okay. So reiterate a point is to uh, speak it again clearly so that you are able to understand. Is that clear? I repeat, is that clear? This is reiteration, okay? Okay, putting emphasis on something uh, so that it becomes crystal clear or uh, repeating something so that it becomes clear, okay? Samir? Dilemma. Dilemma is, Dilemma is, you know what it is. You know what it is, black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> Okay, anywho. <laughs> uh, so the next word is dilemma. Okay, uh, now this is a word that you must have heard before. Okay. So dilemma is uh, a noun form. Okay, ye tino adjective. Agar aapne dekha hoga, ferocious, unbridled, and vexing. All three are adjectives. Even though ed use or unbridled mein, even though ing use or vexing mein, ous is naturally an adjective. Okay, dilemma is a situation in which a difficult choice has to be made between two or more alternatives. Especially ones that are equally undesirable, okay? So, the, when you are supposed to choose between two difficult scenarios, okay? Difficult choices, you have to do side, okay? One side, um, just so much, a difficult choice would be... <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so Mish Kelly difficult choice would be uh, <laughs> funnily at that point. Anyway, on one side uh, he has samosa and on the other side he has momos. So, which one would he pick? Okay, this is a dilemma, okay, for so Mish. <laughs> yeah, as I don't see sentences, why aren't you making sentences? Please make sentences. There's Chinmay, there's Navasha, there's Gurnur, there's so Mish. 
the skiff the skin can eat. all of you do make sentences so what what is happening today nobody is in a mood okay so Misha is making one hi Vaishnavi. oh sorry Vaishnavi. how can i read Vaishnavi wrong i'm so sorry hi Vaishnavi. Mayoko's cat is vexatious. Vexes me when I eat something. Okay, vexes me when I eat something. Okay, vexes me when I eat something. Very nice. So, Mish Homelander. I am so fed up. Says, okay. Says or said, okay. And then double inverted commas. You will put a comma and then uh, you will put a comma. You'll put a comma and then you will start the double inverted comma. Uh, I am so fed up by your ferocious attitude. And that is because you are an unbridled creature. But one day we are going to have the one which will be stronger. Not more stronger. One day we will have someone stronger than you. Okay. One day we will have someone stronger than you. Okay. Very nice. I suppose to be at home by. I imagine I would be at home by 11 p.m. For I didn't want, okay, for I didn't want ferocious criticism from my mama. All right. For I didn't want some ferocious criticism from my mama. Okay. All right. Bonjour, Amit. I was just asking why, uh, why are you so late? Uh, not extremely late, but yeah, you, you're slightly late. Okay. So we did words like ferocious, unbridled, vexing, and dilemma. Uh, I was just asking why, uh, where is Ravneet? And Gurnu, did you just say hello and you left? Because that is going to piss me off. That is going to piss me off, Gurnu. <laughs> did you just do that to me? Did you ghost me? <laughs> Gurnu, did you just ghost me? <laughs> and then he sliced me by his laser vision. Wow, so Mesh, and you're writing about it today. Ria had put me in a dilemma by making me choose between going to party or going to party or staying at home. Okay, because it is a choice, so there has to be or, not and. Okay. Sad memories have been in unbridled spread sad memories have um, spread in an unbridled manner okay you can use it that way okay Kev. roving Now, the next word is roving. Roving is an adjective. Just come up with constantly moving from one area or place to another. Okay. So, something that constantly keeps moving is not stagnant in one area. Uh, that's why you have rovers. Okay. Roving is an adjective. Okay. Constantly moving from one area or place to another. Okay. Canine, you already know. You must be knowing canines are adjective. Okay. Canine, kya hota hai? Relating or resembling a dog or dogs, okay, is canine, okay, so anything that is related to dog, a dog or dogs is canine. Spur is the next word, okay, spur is the next word which uh, we have seen before many a times, we have seen this word many a times, okay, spur hume baut baar dekha hai. Wow, good. So you are here. 
फॉर हमने बहुत बार देखा इट मीन्स टू इंकरेज एन एक्टिविटी और डेवलपमेंट और मेक इट हैपन फास्टर ओके स्पर इज टू इंकरेज एन एक्टिविटी और डेवलपमेंट और मेक इट फास्टर ओके स्पर समथिंग इन टू एक्शन ओके मेरिट ओके दिस इज अ मेरिट दैट इज नॉट द मेरिट एज इन द एडवांटेज और द पर्क और the qualification merit uh, is a verb form which means meriting यहाँ पर use हुआ है passage में okay passage में क्या use हुआ है meriting it's something merits a particular treatment it deserves or is considered important enough to be treated in that way okay so अगर कोई चीज को importance दिया जा रहा है तो it deserves that importance is what is meriting okay Yes, spur of the moment. That is absolutely fine, Navasha. Hi, Hewan, bonjour, Munsia, bonjour, Munsia. So, <laughs> Abia, Aryan. Hi, good afternoon, Aryan. Good afternoon. Now I am here. Oh, thank you, Gurnoor. I'm thankful for your drop. Your, you are here. And finally, 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 you are here. And See, deliberate can be an adjective and it can be uh, a verb as well. Okay, so when you are thinking, okay, to deliberate on something, okay, is a verb. That means when you are thinking about something, when you are talking about something seriously and carefully about something, ठीक है? बहुत seriousness के साथ आप किसी चीज के बारे में चर्चा कर रहे हैं या राय विमर्श कर रहे हैं ओके दैट इज डेलिबरेट एंड डेलिबरेट आल्सो मींस समथिंग दैट हैज बीन पुट अ लॉट ऑफ थॉट एंड इंटेंशनली डन ओके कोई चीज इंटेंशनली इंटेंशनली की जाती होती है तो उसको भी हम डेलिबरेट बोलते हैं जैसे डेलिबरेट एक्शंस वर टेकन ओके मतलब इंटेंशनली ये एक्शंस लिए गए थे एंड फाइनली इनहेरेंटली एल वाई आ गया तो इट इज नेचुरली एन एडव इन अ वे दैट एग्जिस्ट At a natural or basic uh, part of something, okay, in a way that exists as a natural or basic part of something is inherently, okay, something that is a natural part of something, okay, uh, so inherent characteristics हम बोलते हैं, so inherently present, okay, that means it is a natural part of that thing, okay. All right. Moving on to the next set of words. So we, the words that we looked at in, on this page were ferocious, unbridled, vexing, dilemma, roving, canine, spur, merit, deliberate, inherent. Okay, I thought I have used deliberate inherently. Now these are the next set of words. Fatal is the word which is an adjective. Okay, fatal illness. If it happens, fatal accident happens. Fatal, yeah, fatal illness or accident happens. So fatal is anything that causes death. Okay. So fatal is something that causes death. Okay, is life threatening? Is something that causes death? Is an adjective. Sterilize करना. Okay. Now Americans uh, use ze instead of se. So both are correct. Okay. Sterilize. Uh, se is also correct. Z is also correct. Okay. Z as in z e is also correct. Okay. So this is the verb form which means to perform a medical operation on someone in order to make them unable to have children. Okay. So sterilize dogs. Okay. We sterilize dogs so that they do not have children. They do not reproduce and they do not fester. Uh, probably yes, Gunu. Let's see. I'm not really sure about today. I'm not sure. Probably yes. Uh, idiomatic expressions पे लेना है मुझे special classes. So it can be today, or it can be tomorrow early morning. Let's see which one is it. Hee <laughs> hee. ओके स्टरलाइज का मतलब हो गया टू परफॉर्म अ मेडिकल ऑपरेशन ऐसा ऑपरेशन परफॉर्म करना जिससे कोई जिन पे ऑपरेशन हो रहा है वो फिर बच्चे ना कर पाए ओके दैट इज टू स्टरलाइज समवन ओके 
यूनिलैटरल इज एन एडजेक्टिव विच मीन्स इन्वॉल्विंग ओनली वन ग्रुप यूनिलैटरल मतलब कोई एक बस ग्रुप के बारे में को इन्वॉल्व कर रहा है या किसी एक कंट्री को बस इन्वॉल्व कर रहा है ओके सो इट वॉज अटरल डिसीजन दैट मीन्स ओनली वन कंट्री वॉज इन्वॉल्व और ओनली वन ग्रुप वॉज इन्वॉल्व ओके How did you know, Somesh? I have stopped drinking um, tea as well, so instead I'm just drinking hot chocolate now. So <laughs> that's also the reason why I'm sleepy, <laughs> not just the weather, but not drinking tea or coffee. So I'm like, I'm not wide awake. I'm wide awake. Okay, not wide awake. Okay, then we have encompass. Encompass is a verb form which means to include different types of things. Okay, to include different type types of things is to encompass something. Okay, बहुत सारे different kinds of things it includes. Okay. Yeah, so Mesh, I wasted my time already doing it. Hi, Vishal. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. procrastination kills oh you are supposed to uh, okay this class encompasses vocabulary inferences and tones okay it encompasses all of it okay it includes all of these types of things okay uh, procrastination kills is that clear and you are also supposed to give me a sentence okay encompasses you can change it to encompasses encompassing encompassed okay all right moving on to the next one temperament okay temperament is also something that you must have heard kisi ka temperament okay is uh, basically isko short form mein temper bolte okay temperament se aaya hai temper I will be taking it on uh, special classes. Always happens on an academy platform, so I will be taking it there. ठीक है. All right. So yes, can can you can do that on Telegram? You can. For sure. For sure. temperament is the part of your character that affects your moods and the way you behave okay that is your temperament okay so aisa cheez jo aapke character ko affect karta hai ya sorry aapke character ka aisa part jo aapke mood ko affect karta hai ya aap kaise behave ya kaise bartav karenge us pe usko affect karta hai that is your temperament okay all right Then we have provoke. Okay, provoke करना किसी को मतलब उत्तेजित करना किसी को ओके प्रोवोक हैज अ प्रॉपर क्लियर हिंदी वर्ड दैट आई नो ऑफ प्रोवोक इज अ वर्क विच मीन्स टू कॉज अ रिएक्शन स्पेशली अ नेगेटिव वन किसी से रिएक्शन निकलवाना ओके स्पेशली अगर आप किसी को प्रोवोक कर रहे हैं तो आप नेगेटिव रिएक्शन ही निकलवाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं आप किसी को भड़का रहे हैं ओके इज टू प्रोवोक समन राइट किसी को भड़काना इज प्रोवोक प्रोवोकिंग समवन एंड प्रोवोकिंग एंग अग्रेशन ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो वर्ड दैट यू मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ अग्रेशन इज अ नाउन विच मीन स्पोकन और फिजिकल बिहेवियर दैट इज थ्रेटनिंग और इन्वॉल्विंग हार्म टू समवन और समथिंग ओके सो स्पोक अग्रेशन दिखाना मतलब हो सकता है कि आप फिजिकल अग्रेशन दिखा रहे हो सकता है आप वर्बल अग्रेशन दिखा रहे हैं तो आप वर्बल अग्रेशन जब दिखाते हो तो आप कुछ बहुत ही अग्रेसिव चीज बोलते हो जिससे आप यू आर गिविंग एन इंडिकेशन कि आप किसी को हार्म करोगे फिजिकल अग्रेशन दिखा रहे हो तो आप ऐसे स्टांस ले रहे हो आप ऐसे कर रहे हो जैसे लग रहा है कि आप किसी को मार मारोगे ओके थप्पड़ मारने वाले हो किसी को या किसी को यू आर गोइंग टू get into a fight with that person okay so that is aggression then we have stringent okay is an adjective okay stringent is an adjective which means having a very severe effect okay stringent effect is a very severe effect 
or being extremely limiting okay stringent laws ke bare mein hum sunne hai stringent strict is basically stringent okay yeah provoke is bhadkana yeah to trigger goli <laughs> vishal that is a different trigger that you press the trigger and the goli comes out my fiery temperament languished me in suffering very nice guy very nice this one was awesome very nice you used fury you used temperament you used language very nice awesome and finally the last word that we have is liable which is an adjective which means having legal responsibility for something or someone is liable okay so liable to changes legal responsibility hona is uh, liable to this liable to that all right so let's move on All India CLAT open mock test is happening uh, on the twenty fourth of March at four pm. Dena na bhulna. You can scan this QR code and it will take you straight to the mock test. Is is ko dene se apko fayda ki you get ninety percent scholarship. You can get uh, ninety up to ninety percent scholarship. Instant test results milega, detailed analysis bhi milega, or top rankers ko free gift vouchers bhi milega. All right. you can scan this qr code lot twilight batch is a batch for is an evening batch okay and it this is a batch for um clat alet ole and other and olets okay for 2025 okay and i'm taking english language in this batch so use my code vashnavi 10 to enroll in this batch okay uh last mile batch is an, uh, another batch for mhct cuet llb and other llbs for 2024 again i'm taking english language so mera code use karna banta hai dosto मेरा कोड यूज करना ना भूले All right, class notes 2.0 is a revamp theory plus 5,500 practice questions. You can get access to these notes with the purchase of any plus or iconic subscription. Okay, so plus के साथ आपको digital copy मिलेगा और iconic के साथ आपको digital along with printed notes मिलेंगे that will be delivered at your doorstep. Class 2025 premium capsule has printed notes. आपको printed notes मिलते हैं that will be delivered at your doorstep along with pack of 50 mocks भी मिलेंगे. Okay, printed notes के साथ 50 mocks जिसमें जिसमें सारे notes और mocks are curated by top educators. Printed study material Details will be delivered to your doorstep, and um, pack of fifty series has forty CLAT, six ALIT, and four OLIT. OLIT. Again, then there is standard capsule. The only difference between premium and standard capsule is that here you have digital notes. Okay, nothing will be delivered at your doorstep. Okay, this is just digital notes. Rest, rest, everything remains same. So offer price is available. It is available at a discounted price of six thousand four hundred and ninety nine. Cat assure is an assurity from our side that till we clear cat. Whoa, 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 whoa! We are with you till you clear cat. We are with you. These are the terms and condition. Please do read the terms and conditions carefully before entering. Valid till March thirty first. Hmm. Here one. Despite the fierce, I think fierce. You wanted to write fierce battle between. Harvey Specter and I, okay. Oh, okay, sorry. The comma legal team who claimed my client was a liable of construction, uh, constructing an illegal building in NYC. Managed to successfully uh, refute. their claim okay and secured victory very nice you one good job against hari havi specter i really doubt it <laughs> but good uh, rabneet uh, the increasing number of cyber crimes has caused unbridled vacation among sorry yeah unbridled vacation among the general public okay people are ferocious about the incumbent government's careless attitude about the same and whether it is a deliberation or a delinquency very nice doesn't matter anymore 
the uses of the users are now in a state of dilemma about what is to be trusted and what is not to be trusted online because the government does not have any and sorry an encompass law an encompass law on the matter as of yet very nice the existing laws does not the existing law does not touch upon most of the problems it doesn't doesn't give up a piece of not like the it doesn't make one liable for cyber cyber bullying it does not help with data data being sold to companies very nice it's high time that the government comes up with the new stringent laws with uh with a, a new stringent law or law okay with a new stringent law but or with stringent laws okay um but unfortunately that seems difficult because the government cares apostrophe s nahi yoga about the temperament of the foreign investors and in order to be safe from their aggression the government would not do anything that provokes them if it uh, if it costs the safety of its only its own citizens very nice arneet uh, good job sakshi okay good job ravneet splendid performance very nice he wrote a, actually i read a, i feel like i read a whole paragraph <laughs> ram was in a deliberate situation about his wife because she was going to become a mother after so many years situation became a dilemma a dilemma for doctors to save both of his life because baby was not in a good condition or oh, sakshi good job no nice all right so let's get started ferocious friends okay this is what the title is given while uh, allowing for a choice of pets their raising should not be an unbridled right okay all right so this is the conclusion okay agar while allowing for a choice of pets their raising should not be an unbridled right okay so अगर हम चॉइस ऑफ पेट्स करें तो उनका रेजिंग शुड नॉट बी एन अनब्रिडल राइट दिस इज द कंक्लूजन ओके दिस इज द कंक्लूजन दैट द ऑथर हैज रीच टू now let's look at the main idea the relationship between dogs and their place in society opens up vexing dilemmas in india on one hand so basically relationship of dogs and their place in society okay ye india mein specifically ek bahut hi uh, worrying dilemma प्रोवाइड करता है प्रोड्यूस करता है हमारे लिए हाउ ओके दिस इज वॉट दर इज गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ इज इट प्रेजेंटिंग दैट डेलम ओके सो दिस बिकम्स दैट मेन आइडिया ऑन वन हैंड देर इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ स्ट्रीट डॉग्स एक साइड हमारे पास स्ट्रीट डॉग्स का प्रॉब्लम है सिटीजन ऑल ओवर द कंट्री मे कंप्लेन अबाउट about their residential colonies being under attack by roving canines but this has not yet spurred any significant political response to enforce existing municipal laws to contain their numbers on the other hand it seems that okay so agar aap dekho to on one hand this okay so this is this entire thing is just the example okay a further explanation of what the author is trying to say and then it comes to on the other hand okay on the other hand you have it seems 
that even pet dogs too have managed to raise an enti entirely different class of concerns meriting the attention of a central government ministry and two high courts okay so ye to problem ho gaya street dog ka ek side hamare paas problem hai street dog ka ki unka koi contain karne ka unka koi tarika nahi hai and bahut sare complaints ke baad bhi koi action liya gaya hai on dusre aur dusre side pet dogs have managed to raise concerns okay un wo concerns jaga chuke hain और किसका अटेंशन गेन कर चुके हैं सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट और दो हाई कोर्ट का भी अटेंशन गेन कर चुके हैं दिस इज वॉट द मेन आइडिया इज दिस इज वॉट दॉथर इज गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इट ओके Among the question being deliberated upon is whether certain breed of dogs are inherently more ferocious than others. Okay. अब जो question raise हो रहा है यहाँ पर is the question की क्या कुछ dogs, कुछ breed of dogs are more aggressive, they are more ferocious than the other breed of dogs. क्या वो ज़्यादा खतरनाक होते हैं दूसरे breed of dogs से? An expert committee. constituted by department of animal welfare and husbandry ministry uh, of agriculture has recommended that certain breed of ferocious dogs be prohibited from being kept as pets okay so unhone kya bola hai ek expert committee okay jisme department of animal welfare and husbandry aata hai ministry of agriculture aate hain to inhone bol diya hai ki ek certain breed of dogs okay kuch kuch breed of dogs jo ferocious dogs jinko keh sakte hain classify hote hain ferocious dogs mein unko prohibit kar diya jaye unko mana kar diya jaye as pets rakhne ke liye okay such a committee was constituted after citizen groups complained of attacks of people sometimes fatal by these dogs which promoted a petition in the delhi high court requesting it to be to ban certain breeds okay to kuch logo ne um कुछ सिटीजन ग्रुप्स ने ओके कुछ सिटीजन ग्रुप्स ने कंप्लेन किया था कि कुछ कुछ डॉग्स के अटैक्स बहुत फेटल होते हैं और जिसके वजह से क्या हो रहा है जिसके वजह से एक पेटिशन जारी हुआ दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट में ओके जो बोलता है कि कुछ कुछ सर्टेन ब्रीड ऑफ डॉग्स को बैन कर देना चाहिए ओके सो इस ब्रीड में कौन कौन से डॉग्स आते दीज ब्रीड these include mixed and cross breeds such as pitbull terrier american staffordshire terrier philo brasileiro brasileiro yeah brazil dogo argentino american bulldog boy boil kangal central asian shepherd dog among others okay to ye sare breed isme included hain गुरनूर आप तो रहने दो आप तो मौसम की तरह बस एक दिन यहाँ की सिक्किम के मौसम की तरह बस एक दिन क्लियर रहते हो एक दिन डिसेंट सेंटेंसेस बनाते हो बाकी दिन आप वापस से आ जाते हो अपने मार काट वाले सेंटेंसेस पे ओके <laughs> इसीलिए नहीं दिखता है दीज रूल्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाय लोकल अथॉरिटीज ओके तो इन्होंने इन सारे ब्रीड ब्रीड ऑफ डॉग्स को क्या कर दिया गया है बैन कर दिया गया है कीपिंग पेट्स ओके और ये इम्प्लीमेंट होगा लोकल अथॉरिटीज के द्वारा ओके डॉग्स दैट हैव ऑलरेडी बिन केप्ट एज पेट्स dogs that have already been kept at pest must be sterilized to ensure that further breeding does not happen okay to jo agar kisi ne ye sare breed ko rakh liya hai to ab unko sterilize karna padega taki further uh, inki breeding na ho sake the karnataka high court recently stayed the government order after some petitioners objected that the government de department move was unilateral and did not encompass a wide इनफ स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ एक्सपर्ट बॉडीज ओके तो कर्नाटका हाईकोर्ट ने रिसेंटली ये गवर्नमेंट को ऑर्डर को स्टे पे स्टे लगा दिया है क्योंकि कुछ पेटिशनर ने ऑब्जेक्ट किया था ये गवर्नमेंट को ऑर्डर को ये बोलते हुए कि उन, उनका जो उनका जो अप्रोच है इसके तरफ ये बहुत ही यूनिलैटरल है एक ही ग्रुप को बस कंसिडर करते हैं और ये सारे 
वाइड वराइटी एंड वाइड स्पेक्ट्रम को नहीं कवर करते हैं एक्सपर्ट बॉडीज नहीं है इसमें ओके तो ये दे डू नॉट इंक्लूड एक्सपर्ट बॉडीज एंड हेंस दिस इज नॉट अ वेरी सेन डिसीजन टू बी मेड और दिस इज नॉट अ वेरी rational decision that they made okay so the kennel club of india a body that deals with registering pure breeds okay to ye kis ko register karte pure breeds ko register karte could stand to ye ek example de raha hai ki jo kennel <coughs> sorry <laughs> sorry could stand to be at a disadvantage by this uh, by this decision okay to so, kennel um, club jo hai is decision ke wajah se unko ho sakta hai disadvantage mil ho okay years of observation and insight into the temperament of dogs have shown that ferocity and aggressiveness are a result of both environmental and behavior factors okay so behavioral factors so अगर कोई डॉग में अग्रेसिवनेस है तो ये किस चीज पे डिपेंड करता है बहुत सारी इयर्स ऑफ रिसर्च ने ये दिखाया है कि अगर कोई डॉग फिरोशियस है ओके okay, अगर कोई डॉग अग्रेसिव है तो वो किस चीज का रिजल्ट होता है इन्वायरमेंट का रिजल्ट होता है और बिहेवियर फैक्टर्स का रिजल्ट होता है दस ओके सो द कंक्लूजन इज द एज सेक्स साइज फेमिलियरिटी विद विद द डॉग्स द वे इट इज ट्रेन एंड द सर्कमस्टांसिस दैट प्रोवोक अग्रेशन ऑल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू फिरोसिटी फिरोसिटी ओके तो ये सारे फैक्टर्स तो एज बी एज ऑफ द डॉग ओके सेक्स ऑफ द डॉग वेदर इट इज अ मेल और अ फीमेल साइज ऑफ द डॉग वेदर इट इज ह्यूज और स्मॉल फेमिलियरिटी विद अदर डॉग्स हाउ फेमिलियर इट इज विद अदर डॉग्स ऑल दीज एंड द it is being trained okay all these factors affect ki kitna aggression hoga aggressive hoga dogs okay that said several countries have banned certain that said bahut sare countries ne ban kar diya hai certain breed or have imposed stringent conditions to own or maintain certain dog breeds okay bahut sari countries ne ye kar diya hai ki aap kuch certain breeds nahi maintain kar sakte dog ke kuch certain conditions pe aap dogs rakh sakte okay none of these countries anyway permit street dogs in the way india does and so the uh, regulation are premised on higher standards of safety than in india okay so lekin ye koi bhi country jo ye dog space as pet animals pe stringent laws laga rahi hain ye koi bhi inme se country kya nahi kar rahi hai inke paas jaise hamare hamare desh mein khula chhoot hai street dogs ke liye okay waise hi in countries mein nahi khula chhoot hai okay to regulation different hai okay different regulation hai higher standards hai public safety ki तो जो नहीं है इंडिया में ओके सो वी के नॉट बेसिकली इट इज लाइक कंपेयरिंग एपल्स टू ऑरेंजेस ओके सो दस अगेन देर इज अ दस कंक्लूजन द एग्जिस्टेंस और एब्सेंस ऑफ सर्टेन ब्रीड ऑफ डॉग्स इज लेस लाइकली टू मेक अ डिफरेंस टू पब्लिक सेफ्टी देन मेकिंग डॉग ओनर्स मोर लाइबल फॉर कॉज हार्म कॉज ओके सो तो इसीलिए दर इज सेंग एग्जिस्टेंस और एब्सेंस ऑफ सर्टेन ब्रीड्स ऑफ डॉग ये बहुत ज्यादा डिफरेंस नहीं क्रिएट करेगा ओके okay? कि आप सर्टेन ब्रीड्स को आप अगर आप हटा भी दें तो ये बहुत ज्यादा डिफरेंस नहीं क्रिएट करेगा पब्लिक सेफ्टी में ओके okay? या ये इन द सेम वे कि आप डॉग ओनर को लाइबल नहीं ठहरा सकते हो इसके वजह से ओके वाइल इंडिविजुअल चॉइस इज चूजिंग एंड रेजिंग पैट pets matter it is by no means an unbridled right okay to ye to satya hai ki kaise aap raise kar rahe hain kaun sa breed choose kar rahe hain aur us pet ko kaise raise kar rahe hain ye bahut zyada matter karta hai lekin ye koi unbridled right nahi okay so what would be the tone of uh, this editorial what would be the tone
<laughs> Gurnur, they are not aggressive dogs. So why will they be uh, in the list? Of course not. Golden re Retrievers are the most friendly dogs. They are friendly to robbers and uh, burglars as well. So <laughs> why would they be in the list? Yeah, critical as well. All right, so that is it for today. Thank you everyone for attending the session. I will see you again in the next class. I will be posting the schedule very, very soon on the Telegram channel. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for more. Bye-bye everyone. Take care. Adios. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. Tschüss. Jai Hind. And Namaskar. Dev you or Sajjana. <laughs>